Kahua Theater is finally open their doors tonight after nearly two years, and they proudly present a show that was scheduled to open in March of 2020, the story of Queen Ka'ahumanu. Donna Blanchard, Managing Director of Kumu Kahua Theater, joins us this morning with all the great details. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm sure you're doing great, too, now that the opening night is finally here. Congratulations. Thank you. Boy, it has been a long time coming. Yeah, I bet. So, and it's been a long time coming for you and then, of course, the entire cast. So can you share a little bit about how you're feeling and the entire cast with tonight's opening as well as the journey that the theater's gone through to get to tonight? Uh, it, you know, it, it, it's been a lot. This show was originally scheduled to open on March 19th, 2020. And uh, it was the first show, of course, that we had to close, um, shut down because of the pandemic. And we had no idea how long this was going to last. We had our actors rehearsing weekly for months. They just kept going, going, at least going through their lines, keeping the characters alive. And we eventually did um, a reading of the show for our audiences via Zoom when we were just trying to figure out how can we continue to serve our mission and keep everyone safe during a pandemic. Right. Uh, so we, Kumukuhu has switched to digital theater and um, uh, uh, other digital formats to serve our mission, entertain our audiences, keep our artists active, which is also very important. And um, we, when we thought about going back in person, we not only listened to the CDC and our local government, but we were very careful to survey our audiences and survey our artists and volunteers and see how they felt about it. And it's not really until now that they felt safe enough to come back under very strict guidelines that we are following. And we're still, keeping our fingers crossed that we can keep everything rolling with a smaller audience. We're only selling a limited number of tickets for each show that'll keep our house less than half full. Um, our, everyone is in masks. Everyone has to be vaccinated. We're in a state run building, so everyone has had to be vaccinated to be in there anyway. Um, and uh, we restaged the show to keep the actors further away from the audience. So they will be unmasked during the performance. Okay. And um, they can relax about it a little bit more. It, it's been an amazing ride seeing them reacclimate to being on the stage and like watching each other's mouths while they're speaking in person because we don't see that normally in, in, in people. Yeah, so true. So again, there are safety protocols that are in place. And, you know, while the theater is just returning to in-person, you guys have remained active in other ways over the last two years. So I know you mentioned, you know, the online virtual shift, but how else have you guys remained active over the last couple of years? Well, we've had classes um, online as well as... Um, we did one show in which the actors were in the theater together and we streamed live from the theater. Oh, wow. All of our shows have been streamed live also. I think that's something a lot of people don't realize is we didn't just, we're not film artists, we're theater artists. So our actors, even when they were in their own homes, some of them across the country, that uh, all of the shows were streamed live. And there, it took a lot to do that. We had to get the training to do it. We had to have a special computer built just to uh, uh, allow us to do that streaming. And I, I think that it's, it's paid off in that we also started a monthly writing contest. We need to keep our artists active so they're continually um, digesting and um, showing us our own humanity and everything that we've been going through. This is a right. crazy time and we felt like we didn't want to stop because we felt like this is the time when you need the artists the most. Right, but now we finally get to see them in person. So how can audiences experience the conversion of Kahumaru and what's ahead for the theater now? Well, you can come see the show. We'd, even though we're limiting our audiences, that we still do have some tickets available. None for tonight, but I think we have some available for tomorrow night and Saturday. This is a five-week run for the show, so it runs until February 20th. And people can just go to our website, kumukahua.org, 
or they can give us a call at 536-4441 and we can hook them up with tickets. Also, we are about to launch a really wonderful partnership with Olelo because when we went digital, we had people in 36 states and eight countries, not to mention all across the state of Hawaii watching our shows and we wanted to continue to serve them. Uh, we're elated that uh, we're able to bring theater by and about the people of Hawaii to them. So Olelo is going to come in and film one of our performances. Very cool. And about 20 days after we close, that will be available on Olelo. Okay. Uh, and then it's going to continue to live on our website as well. Perfect. And we'll have a link to their website on our website at k22.com and where you can find the tickets. Thank you so much, Donna, for joining us this morning. And again, congratulations. Welcome back. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All right.